Time is money. And if you're not learning while you sleep, you're lagging behind. Look at me. I sleep among books, over books, and occasionally under books as well. That way I can absorb knowledge from multiple books while I sleep. Our brain is a powerful tool and we don't use it to its full potential. We should be constantly evolving in our lives. Wondering why I'm learning all this? In my sleep. Life Masterclass by SK Sir has been running in my ears while I was sleeping. You can find a link to it in the description. Now that is just the beginning. I watch one episode of anime while brushing my teeth at 10x speed. Why? Because why waste time? It's all about productivity. I work on multiple things at once. Scripting, editing, coding, studying and networking. And yes, I mean what can I say, I just can't bring myself to waste time. Now at this point you might be thinking, how the hell is this guy so much productive? Well here's the catch, I'm not. Now if you calm down, shh, shh. Can you hear the alarm? Well that is my actual day starting. I stay up pretty late for various reasons, mostly not doing anything productive but yeah, as a result I wake up late, almost never before 9am. I do watch an anime episode while having breakfast, at normal speed, don't kill me. And it's semester break going on right now so there's not much time spent studying across the day. I generally start off my day with a little bit of writing which is generally me writing scripts or planning out some video idea. I seem to be more productive during this phase before evening so that works pretty well for me. Also I've been living off a schedule for some time without a particular timetable or anything since the semester break started to be precise and things have been going all over the place and that's why I'm trying to fix right now. And I know exactly how to do it by making a schedule. So I scheduled the, this particular day last night and I'm sticking to it so far. Nothing too hectic, just blocking out some times to take care of the things that I need to take care of. After this I feel the urge to have my coffee. I've been wanting to try out cold coffee for a few days but again it's too much hassle to make it. So my mom bought this. All chilled and nice. Cold coffee seems really nice in summer and mm, it provides me with the caffeine boost that I crave uh, before generally I start editing my videos. And in comes an epic editing b-roll in 3, 2, no matter what you do, no matter what you say, I'm just a It's around 1.30 pm, I finished the part of the editing process, decluttered and structured the whole thing. I also had shower and I had lunch. I pick up a book and start reading a little bit around this time. I used to scroll Instagram after having my lunch but I uninstalled Instagram from my phone. I only use it on my laptop these days and this is what I've settled upon. In, the, in change of my scrolling time, I try to read some books. And reading fiction is definitely more fun than I thought it would be. I just realized that I had ordered something from Amazon and it just arrived. It's a UV filter for my camera. I didn't know I needed this until one of my friends told me about it. Doesn't make much of a difference in the shot as you can see but still it protects my lens very well so that's that. It's gonna stay screwed on my lens forever and ever. Basically it's life is screwed. That was a bad joke. Around this time my team calls me for Valorant. I'm just too humble to deny them you know. So for the next 2-3 hours it all goes into Valorant. I switched to a new agent, Sova, and learning all the new lineups and supporting my team with information. Pretty fun, not gonna lie. Valorant really stretches your tactical thinking and your teamwork muscle because you can't just kill people with abilities unlike other games. That would make it really unfair, right? After I'm done wrecking some noobs and tilting people with my lineups, I, it's finally time to have another cup of coffee. I'm not really a caffeine addict or anything, most of the days I don't have a single drop of coffee, but some days I'll end up having 2 or 4 cups of coffee. I don't know, it's just based on my mood. Yeah, so it's very occasional, that's what I'm trying to say. Around this time, the weather turns really gloomy. And it does almost every evening these days. It's generally pleasant after a long hot day to have a little rain and a wind. But this day was particularly scary. The sky looked really intimidating. It felt like the aliens were finally here and the world was ending. So 
So yeah, I just uh, come back from my terrace, set up my camera at my balcony and enjoy the stormy rain while having my coffee. Good times, good times, not gonna lie. At 7pm, I finally get to some college project work. This is basically my project for this summer and I have minimal clue about what I'm going to do about this. So today's session goes to figuring out what the hell am I supposed to do with it and what are the things that I need to learn before I can get to work. So this research part takes quite some time. Although I have had this camera for more than a month now, I haven't explored it enough. I still don't know how to shoot time lapse. I will definitely figure this out after this. So that's the reason why I didn't have a long as time lapse in this video. Yeah, so after that I generally have dinner, plan out my next day, spend some time on social media, not really doing anything. And then I close off everything and go to sleep. <laughs> 